One of the lingering mysteries in rock history revolves around what could have been had David Lee Roth's Eat M and Smile Band continued on their initial trajectory. Roth had seemingly struck gold with a lineup featuring the virtuosic talents of Steve Vai on guitar, Billy Sheehan on bass, and Greg Bissonette on drums, all complemented by Roth's own electrifying vocals and stage presence. However, the band's cohesion hit a snag with the release of their follow-up album, Skyscraper, which veered into a more electro-pop dance direction, much to Sheehan's discontent. Before the tour in support of the album could kick off, Sheehan departed from the group, later resurfacing as a founding member of Mr. Big. In a revealing interview with Ryan Roxy, Sheehan addressed long-standing rumors surrounding Roth's stage dynamics. He clarified that during the Eat M and Smile era, there were no such restrictions. Not on my tour. Not on Eat M and Smile, Sheehan asserted. However, he admitted that the infamous duct tape line did indeed make an appearance during the subsequent Skyscraper tour, a restriction that played a part in his departure from the band. Recalling the energetic performances of the Eat M and Smile days, Sheehan reminisced about how he and Vi would roam freely across the stage, unrestricted and fueled by the camaraderie of a genuine band experience. However, the transition to the skyscraper phase saw a shift in dynamics, with rumors swirling about the band's internal tensions. Confirming the existence of the duct tape line, Sheehan revealed that a particular band member found themselves in hot water after crossing it. The episode serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities that can arise within even the most talented musical ensembles.